out of uh, Q2 and you, you were there just at the right time for him? Yeah, that was the plan to, to try and bump out a car in Q1. I think we managed to actually bump out our direct competitor, Daniel, there at McLaren. So uh, good Q1 and then uh, good Q2, giving Charles at all. I hope it helped and, uh, and it made uh, life a bit easier. It certainly did. It looks like he'll be starting a P3 tomorrow, of course, with the Lewis Hamilton grid penalty. What do you think is possible with you at the back of the grid and him up there? It's, um, it's let's see, it all depends how the car feels in traffic and how we can go through the field. Uh, but uh, the pace of the car looks good, so obviously disappointed not to take part in this quali. As you see where Charles is right now, it's you not know, to have two cars up there. It feels like a bit of a, of a missed opportunity with Lando 8th and Ricciardo 15th or 16th. So uh, anyway, we will give it our best shot tomorrow. We will try and go through the field and see if we can um, score some points. And now you've had two days of running with this new car, the new power unit, certainly. Uh, how is it feeling? How much pace do you think is possible for the rest of the season? Uh, there is a bit in it. Um, it's obviously giving us a, a step and uh, enjoying it. Uh, the only problem is the penalty, you know, that this comes with it. But uh, it's good to see a team developing, the team pushing uh, the boundaries with the power unit and, and see that we are trying to make progress for next year.